Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about classical exercises versus contemporary exercises. So we're going to be talking actually about bird feet today. So typically in classical footwork, your feet would be on the foot bar and you would try to wrap your arches of your feet around the bar where the ball of the foot and the heel feel like they're draping around like you're a little bird on a perch. Now, another way to train this more contemporary is to take out your jump board. This is a wonderful place to do footwork. We've done it before, but I really, really like training bird feet on foam rollers because a lot of clients have no idea what you're asking them to do once the feet get on the bar. Now, the other thing about that is so many people have such tight feet and tight plantar fascia it's actually really hard for them to put their arches of their feet like that on the bar. So always before footwork, roll out on the green spiky ball like we've shown you. But now we're gonna use this really kind of interesting shaped foam roller I'm gonna show you from the side. So there's one slope that isn't as large and one that is. So it's not as rolly as a foam roller, but you can pick and choose which side you wanna work with. And I know that Jen's feet have a good arch in them, so I'm going to place the roller this way. If someone doesn't have such great arch, you might start them on the opposite side, although it'll be a little bit more wobbly. So her feet are gonna come up. The smart roller. The smart roller, thank you. Yep, smart roller. So here I'm gonna hold this onto the uh, jump board. Jen's feet are gonna go on, and let's go ahead and have you press out to straight legs. Stay here for a moment. So she's gonna situate her feet on the smart roller. I'm gonna let go now, and it's Jen's job to go ahead and keep this roller on the jump board. Now what I want Jen to do is even standing, can you let your arches take the shape, ooh, very good, of this smart roller, uh-huh. Now find your sitting bones widening, yep, pubic bone dropping through the legs. Very nice. Now Jen, I wanna see how far can you bend in keeping this beautiful drape of the feet on the roller and here you'll be able to see, is she loading too much into the front of her foot? Is there too much into the back of the foot? Because this takes a lot of work through the back of the leg to release the heel bone, the calcaneus, under this roller. And I'd say right, yep, right about there, Jen knew exactly where her range was. Because people will think they just need to come in and out, but this is really about going from the standing range seeing how far you can come in to sustain that draping of the foot on either side of the roller, good. And every time they'll work a little bit more and they'll get a little bit closer to the stopper. Sitting bones wide again, inner pant seams looking down into the springs. Now Jen, take your hands right on your heart, take an inhale, exhale, soften the heart. She was arching her spine to get the length in the back of her legs. You have to watch for this, this isn't only about the feet. Good. Much better. Excellent job. One more time, Jen. Again, you're looking for the lengthening of the Achilles as she comes in, the dropping of her heels back, the doming of her arches. Very good. Excellent job, Jen. And all the way out to straight legs. Good with the solar plexus. And out. This is phenomenal work. Jen did a beautiful job of stabilizing. A lot of people will rock front and back on this to try to figure out how to manage the load of their legs and their feet. But this is wonderful work, wonderful education on how to do bird feet. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.